Hi, this is Phil from TeachBlend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams' new end meeting feature. So this is really useful because as an organiser, you can end the meeting for everyone. So, for example, a teacher teaching students can end the meeting and stop the video discussion without having to be the last person to leave the meeting. So it's really, really useful. So let's have a quick look at how we use the end meeting feature in Microsoft Teams. So the first thing we're going to do is just create a quick meeting or online lesson by clicking the create meeting button and choosing schedule meeting. We'll fill in our details here such as a test lesson or meeting and then I'm going to click send. This will create the meeting for us. Now what I'm going to do as a quick top tip is just go into meeting options and just change the person who can present. So in this example I'm just going to put it to me. Once I've done this, I'm then going to go back into my meeting to join the meeting. And this is how students or other members of staff would join the meeting as well. Once I've done this and click join now, it's important to note that what you would do to end the meeting is not hang up, but click the three ellipses in more actions and then choose end meeting. What this will do is it will end the meeting for everyone and stop the need for you to wait until everyone else has left the meeting before you hang up, so it's really useful. If you need any more help or advice, please contact TeachBlend and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you.